Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Yo. Welcome, welcome. Hey, uh, am I live? Uh, maybe. On the, on the stream. I know I'm on the mumble, but... Uh, yeah, I think I see something. Yep, you're live. Okay. Tell me how it sounds and looks. Uh, let me switch over to your audio. It's actually lagging pretty bad on the hitbox right now. Um, let me refresh it, maybe. Uh, lagging how? Like, bad frame rate? Yeah, it's like dropping frames. Okay. Um, tell me if it stabilizes. All right. Yeah, I am dropping some. Uh. Um, let me try changing a setting. Oh, also, you are streaming the Mambo, right? Yeah, yes. Because right. I, right. I don't have any way of, like, splitting those. No, that's fine. I'll just switch over to your audio when we're ready. Okay. Uh, seems to be running better now, actually. Whoops. I just dropped my phone. Okay. Uh, let me move around and see if it looks better for me. Okay, yeah. The dropping should stop. Yeah, it looks good now. Uh, I'm okay. going to switch over to your audio and then uh, check how the game sound is versus the, the mumble, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, okay, I got cool. a really big donation to read at the start, too, so let's just make sure that we're heard okay, first. I got a really big donation to read at the start, too, so let's just make sure that we're heard first. Yeah. Uh, feel free to check it out. Yeah, you guys could just keep talking. I'm going to mute here and then listen to the stream. Okay. Okay. Peaches, how's it going? It's pretty good. Woke up pretty early for this. I'm glad we managed to sneak you in the marathon anyway, because <laughs> I know you you wanted to play. Yeah. I'm uh I'm happy that everything everything lined up for this to work. Because yeah, I wasn't even gonna be in town originally. All right, sounds pretty good to me. I think we're ready. The okay. mumble's kind of breaking up a little bit. I'm hearing like robot-y. Really? Yeah. I think that's your end. Um, okay. I'm not getting that on the stream or here. Okay, I was just going to say we could maybe boot some of the idlers, too. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Alright, I'm going to do that. Shouldn't uh, be that big a deal, though, but yeah. Um, yeah, let me change all the, the fancy text here, too, while we wait. Okay. Um, does my, uh, sticks clicking come through is really annoying? Either on uh, Mumble or on the actual stream? On Mumble, it's not too bad for me, at least. I guess we'll know from Twitch chat in a bit. Yeah, Twitch chat, let me know if the sticks are annoying. If it is, I can just try not to use them. It's like a habit, right? Flick them around during uh, in between stages. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready then. Give okay. me a countdown for the timer, and uh, we'll get it running. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thanks. Um, hey everyone out there, this is Peaches, and I'm playing Kid Chameleon. This is a 2D platformer for the Genesis, and it's one of my favorite games. I think it's a pretty cool speedrun. Uh, the game is pretty meta, it's like a video game about playing a video game. There's this new arcade game in town, and uh, it becomes sentient, and the boss starts capturing kids by defeating them. And you have to rescue the kids by beating the video game. So doesn't really mess around in the story department. Um, something that makes it really unique is that uh, there's this really, really, really large branching map of levels. Uh, I want to say there's what? I think. And uh, 
any given playthrough will go through a different number of levels uh, based on the paths that you take. And it's not actually possible to go through every level in one playthrough. So, um, when I was a kid, I used to just play this all the time and just. It felt like every single time I played, I would jump into a new level that I'd never been to before. Um, but the, the gameplay is like pretty straightforward. It's just like a 2D platforming where you uh, jump into boxes to release masks that give you different power ups. And if you uh, lose all your HP for a power up, which is in the top left, it's those little tan circles at the moment. Um, and then you lose the mask and you turn back into the kid. And if you lose your kid hit points, then you die. Um, so uh, the the masks aren't necessarily available in every single stage. So um, some of them are really uh, fragile. And if you lose a mask that you need to beat a level a certain way, then you have to take a different path. So uh, it makes the speedrun pretty interesting because uh, if you if you lose a mask or if you die, then um, <laughs> you have to take a completely different path. It's a pretty tight can jump. Oh, go ahead. Can I interrupt you just a quick second? Yeah. yeah. We got two donations here. Uh, $25 from Jape. I love Japan and glitches, so I'm donating for the Mario Glitch Fest thing. Looking forward to playing on Saturday and watching until then. God bless Japan. Thank you, Jape. Uh, I'm assuming that's the Mario RPG glitch fest, so I'm gonna put that there. And then we have a really big donation, $500 from Poochie Darcy. Wow. Double that donation total. Shoutouts to my first stream crush, Peaches. <laughs> Go one for another marathon, and Oxwas for a hamburger. Die, Suki Suki hamburger! Thank you very much, Poochie. And by the way, you didn't mention an incentive, so if you want to put your money towards different incentives, let us know. Thank you, Poochie D. That was a really cool donation. Um, this level is the, the first really big example of using a mask to um, beat a level in kind of an unintended way. Uh, this mask lets me just fly over all of these platforms that are really, really, really annoying and slow to, to travel on normally. That was close. Okay. Um, normally, if you if you reach those shooter bricks fast enough, it'll hit that that dragon dude and let me jump through there safely. But I had to make a tight jump. Um, this is another level that's pretty broken because of this mask. Oh, um, at the end of every level, there will be a, a screen that tallies up your points. And. Uh, uh, Whoa, that's bad. Um, some bonuses uh, you can actually avoid getting, and it, it'll speed you up if you don't watch those points tally. So there's there's actually some levels where I'll, I'll try to get hit on purpose to get rid of the uh, the no hit bonus. And I'm a little bit nervous because I got slowed down in the beginning. I think it might mess up my cycle here. Please don't fall in. I fell in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Normally, uh, I wouldn't feel so nervous about that part, but uh, I'm really, really, really rusty, and that was scary. Uh, if you fall underneath that bridge and get stuck, you're pretty much guaranteed to die because there's uh, a rolling wall of uh, razor blades and spikes that will instantly kill you if you go too slow. So getting stuck in there is certain doom. So with that $500 donation, we're at over $1,000 already. Awesome. That is pretty impressive. Thanks everybody for donating. Um, so this mask is uh, kind of like um, VVVVV, I guess. You can uh, flip gravity. Uh, you cannot uh, stop moving with this one, which I guess you wouldn't really notice anyways. I don't really have a reason to stop. Um, but it makes it pretty uh, awkward to control. And I would guess that it's a lot of people's uh, least favorite masks because of that. Okay.
So I Man. think you mentioned the levels branch out. Uh, do you want to explain just like what that means for other categories of this game too? Yeah, sure. Uh, so the category that I'm doing is uh, called Four Boss, which I guess is just all bosses. Um, there are certain warps that you can uh, activate in this game that'll let you skip any certain number of bosses. Um, so I want to try to avoid those. Um, there's a way that you can skip just the first boss, just the second boss, the first two bosses, or there's a warp that'll actually send you from the second level in the game to the final boss. So it's like a, a minute and a half for the speedrun for that. Uh, and there's also a category that um, kind of resembles 100%, uh, but again, there's no way to play every level in one playthrough. So uh, there's two different kind of attempts at emulating 100%. There's um, there's max levels with no or maximum unique levels, and then there's maximum unique levels with no backtracking, <laughs> and uh, that sounds complicated. Yeah, it's kind of arbitrary. Someone really touches it. Um, so there's a couple levels in this game where you can actually just go in a loop forever, uh, and that kind of um ruins the whole maximum levels thing because you can just go back and forth between two levels and like keep on adding to your tally so uh, if you do maximum unique levels uh, the thing about that is that you're going to be backtracking if you go to those loop levels because uh, some of them some of the levels are only accessible in a way that you will eventually loop back around uh, if that makes sense. So uh, it's kind of a messy category, and there's a there's a tool-assisted speedrun that is called Maximum Levels, but it actually avoids the loop ones. Uh, for a, they call it a speed entertainment trade-off. They didn't want to do certain levels twice because uh, it would be redundant. So they do maximum unique levels with no backtracking, which is not even the maximum levels you can do in one playthrough. So it's pretty stupid. Um, but otherwise, uh, in terms of just uh, normal gameplay, some levels will only have one exit and others will have multiple exits. Uh, you can exit a level through a teleporter, which are, they're kind of like these little tan platforms that I've been standing on, uh, or by touching a flag. And this is the first boss. And the bosses in this game are pretty surreal. Um, can I ask when my timer's at? It's probably at, what, like 9.10 or something? Uh, it's about 9 minutes. Okay. Uh, 9 minutes is, like, kind of a sloppy par. Um, I don't know. I won't go down that road of comparing times here. But that's not too bad. Uh, for being super rusty, I actually didn't even, didn't even practice this at all. Oops. I'm okay with getting hit there. I actually want to be 1 HP here because there's a strat that I'm going to use very soon that needs 1 HP. Okay, so if I buffer right here, I'm going to get hit by these bricks, but then I can buffer left, which lets me instantly turn around. Uh, which is useful because these are really, really tight jumps that I don't want to miss. Okay, I got one. Alright, I got them both. <laughs> Those are tough jumps. And that lets me completely break the next level by having that mask there. Um, this is like a like a three minute level, so it's really, really useful to have that mask there. These jumps are really, really annoying, especially for new players, because um, you don't really have any real frame of reference on when to time them. And having this mask is super crucial for the next, like, four levels, because at the start I need to cut downwards here, 
And I lose my mask. Whoops, I'd rather get hit. Okay, never mind. Um, that was an example of me trying to get hit on purpose to get rid of the 5,000 points for no hit bonus. Because um, I really don't want to get hit now that I have this mask. This uh, area is actually really scary because it's really, really easy to get crushed uh, underneath moving platforms. Um, much, 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 much easier than it might seem. Uh, sometimes you can even be standing next to a platform and it'll crush you. I don't, they're kind of glitchy. But I really, really wanted this mask for the next couple levels because they get really broken. I want to land on the fifth one here. Okay, nice. That saved about a half a second to land on that one. level gets completely broken. We have a question here from the chat. Is this Peaches from Riot? Uh, yeah, I do work for Riot Games. So if you if you've ever bumped into a Riot Peaches, then yeah, it's me. I just like that. That's how they're referring to you now, Peaches yeah. from Riot. <laughs> I see some dogs. Let me contribute. All right, this is a risky trick. Oh, I got it. Okay, okay. Uh, this is actually something that I didn't get in the world record run. Uh, if you bounce off those two different enemies, you can get a ton of speed and you can get in that elevator cycle before uh, before it reaches the ceiling. And if you don't bounce twice, then you're probably going to die. So that's why I said it was risky. But I got it. And that's like a 12 second time saver that I didn't get in my best run. Cool. The reason why it's risky uh, is because um, normally if you don't bounce twice, you can still just barely make it. But uh, you need a really precise rhythm to hit the ceiling without getting stuck there. So. Um, it's really easy to just get squished, because you're still spinning. Um, if you're spinning, then uh, the platform will not uh, listen to your instructions to crouch. So you just get squished. This is the first time that I've got the, the Meat Boy Fly skin. Uh, functions pretty similarly. You just jump on walls. You get a little bit of a uh, slowdown as you first touch them, but that uh, decays over time. second boss here, which I think is probably the hardest strat to do in the game. Uh, I really hope that I can at least do it mediocre. Um, so when you jump on an enemy's head in this game, you will speed up, and on a couple levels so far I've been trying to jump on enemies' heads just to get a little boost here and there. Uh, you can use that to cheese bosses, and I need to concentrate here. Okay, you can use that to cheese bosses, and you can ride them up into the ceiling and bounce on them rapidly, but it speeds you up so much that it's really easy to just pop out and go flying. Oh god. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is not going like I hoped. I'm actually going to reset, I think this will be faster. Because uh, there's a really specific cycle that is really important. Um, the mechanics of this game, uh, a lot of people have described them as, like, really, really floaty. Uh, one more time. If I mess this up again, I'm just going to do it normally. Um, the sad thing is this is probably still faster than it would have been if I continued the first one. Um, this game, a lot of people say it's, like, really, really floaty and, like, really, like, greasy and hard to control. 
Um, I've mostly gotten used to it, but geez, after um, being really rusty, it kind of feels that way. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to do this normally. If there was one spot that uh, I knew I would have messed up from being rusty, this is definitely it. Alright, uh, I'm using a gem power here, which is slowing down the bosses, that's why their eyes are going all crazy. And uh, that makes it um, really easy to slash him with my sword a bunch before he can uh, fit underneath the level. Get out of here. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but... If I was going to mess up one level, it would have been that. Uh, what's my time at? Like 1620, I'm going to guess? I'm looking at 16.40. Okay, okay. I think he started the clock a few seconds early, too, but somewhere in there. What? No, he didn't. Oh, I'm just trying to help out. <laughs> you gotta lie a little bit, right? No, it's okay. Um, you don't have to protect my feelings. Uh, no, my estimate's, think... what, 35? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna hit that, but... That's alright. As long as you guys uh, gave me a little bit of a rust buffer. a few of our Sonic Runners representing. Actually, both of our Sonic Runners in the chat right now, Broken Oak and DSS. Both will be playing later in the marathon. I'm going to use my jump powers again to slow down these aliens. Uh, these guys were huge run killers for the longest time because they shoot you on reaction, and it's incredibly hard to dodge. And uh, <laughs> I like telling this story every time I run this game. Uh, I had a dream, actually, of using this strat that I just used. <laughs> uh, I was playing Kid Chameleon like, constantly, and I dreamt of this strat where I would use the gems to slow them down, and I woke up and I was like, no way, that can't possibly work. And I did, and it worked, and I've used it ever since. I think it's pretty that, silly. That's hilarious, I've never heard anything like that. <laughs> it's like when you, when you play games so much, you just start having dreams of it. It's, I mean, I've dreamed of games before, but they don't usually follow the same rules. Like, Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't expect it to. That's why I woke up and I was like, they, they won't get slowed down. But they did. And, and then they did. Wow. The only real uh, issue with that is that it is 20 gems and you do have to go out of your way to get those. So it's kind of like, it's like maybe three-ish seconds worth of sidetracking in order to just never die on that level, which I find very worth it. Whoops. Get out of here. Okay. I'm very surprised I only got hit once there. Getting hit once is okay, but I really, really don't want to lose this mask because there's no replacement. And I really need... Uh, this uh, hoverboard mask for this strat right here. Oh, and uh, the, the whole um, bonus point thing. So not only is it just um, like completely faster in raw time to uh, avoid getting those points, it's also faster because every 50,000 points you get an extra life and you have to watch it bounce around the screen for like 8 seconds. And, uh, you know, every every 10 times that you get hit when it doesn't make you lose a mask that you need, uh, that saves you 8 seconds. Uh, I just want to point out we got another $5 donation from CFB with the comment Franklin Z. Thanks CFB. All right, yeah, here's an extra life. You get to watch this bounce around for a while. Oh, crud, a hand got me. 
Um, that unfortunately means that I have to play a little bit safer. Uh, I have an alternate strat on this level that makes me jump on ice spikes in order to climb a wall faster, but I can no longer afford to do that. Ah, oh, I just missed that cycle. Uh, if you get hit and lose your mask, then you can't buffer this jump. Uh, as long as you have the fly mask, you can just jump immediately into that, which saves a little bit of time. Otherwise, you'd have to fall on the ground first. Okay, third boss coming up. Uh, this one, I think, casually is the hardest, but in the speedrun, it might be one of the easiest. And hopefully I don't put my foot in my mouth by saying that. This is the Bagel Brothers, that's like the name of this level. Uh, they are so named, I guess, because in the city, people like bagels. That was actually a really, really good uh, set of hits on the first dude. Normally I don't get that many. Alright, this is the only hard part. Okay. Again, uh, getting pinned against the ceiling usually means that you jump so fast that you shoot out. Whoop. Okay, this this last guy should die really quick now. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, that was a insane big of brothers. That was like better than my world record run. That was really good. Nice. Uh, I don't even know what my time is supposed to be for the third loss, but um, I'm guessing I only lost a tiny bit of time there. What's my timer at right now? Like. Just over something? Just over 23.30. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I'm gonna be risky by uh, having 2 HP here. This could bite me in the ass, but whatever, I'm already behind. This is the first time uh, that aliens are a big deal without me having much power over it. Uh, <laughs> these uh, floating aliens can lock on you and just piss alien urine on you, and there's no <laughs> way to avoid it. Like once they lock on you, they are super vicious. It's like some of the most aggressive AI that you'll ever see. Yeah, this game is pretty unforgiving. Yeah. Like, they just confirm the kill. It's like a constant stream of urine, and <laughs> it's really annoying. So you just have to hope that you I get like, lucky. I like the nickname from the chat, R. Kelly Aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, coming up is one of my favorite stages. I think it's like one of the... One of the most difficult stages, um, Ice Gods of Vengeance. This is one that I always remember as a kid, and I guess the reason why I always remember it is because uh, actually every playthrough has to go through here, um, unless you do uh, the one that skips straight to the last boss. Um, no matter what, like, no matter what route you take, this is kind of a choke point. So far it's going pretty well. I got a really fast cycle at the beginning, I didn't really have time to even explain what it was. That 
was very Meat Boy-esque. Alright, cool. Nice, that was really good. Whoops. Okay, as long as I don't get hit. I really, really, really do not want to get hit here. I want all of my HP for the next level. Um, this is this is kind of a unique level because uh, there's a set of bonuses that you can get where uh, if you get every bonus possible, then you will have extreme lag <laughs> for no reason. Uh, and hang on. Okay. Um, so to avoid that, I specifically got a single gem to get rid of my no prize bonus. Because otherwise, if you get um, speed bonus, no prize bonus, no hit bonus, and a bonus called path bonus, which basically just means uh, the game is saying, like, hey, this is a hard level, um, you get, I don't know, it costs you, like, multiple seconds of lag. It's really obscene. So I purposely got a gem in order to get rid of that one bonus. Alright, Alien Isle. This is one of my least favorite levels, because there's a lot of those R. Kelly aliens. And I have found a pretty good way to manipulate that first guy into not locking onto you. But after that, it's... anything goes. And I may or may not use my jump power to... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that guy. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh... You can sometimes just uh, get really good RNG and just avoid all the aliens. Oh shit. Okay, please don't. Okay, this could be bad. I'm just gonna play safe. Oh god. Please. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I tried. I almost managed to clutch that out. Now you can that see was... how aggressive they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, take two. Jeez, those guys. Looks really unforgiving. Yeah. I almost got that. Oh, that was very, very close. The only reason I couldn't is because uh, you... Um, so the the basic kids, uh, like the, the default guy, uh, his power is that if you are next to a brick at kind of like half height and you press jump again, you'll do a flip and get back up on it. And I tried to do that for um, a moving platform and it, it wouldn't let me do it. So uh, that was the reason I couldn't get out of there safely. Okay, all right, more clutch. They're usually not that bad. Um, I don't know, that was one of the more painful alien isles that I've had in a long time, but at least I can use a, a, an otherwise bad run to demonstrate how hard that level is. Chat reacted to that pretty intensely. Yeah. Yeah, it was very, very close to not die there. Alright, this is the final level, the final marathon. Um, dimensions wise, it's the biggest level. But I don't think it's that bad. Um, there's a whole bunch of traps that will make new players just die over and over. But if you know where the traps are, I don't think it's too bad. There's like a whole bunch of uh, platforms that just fall out underneath you, and there's a whole bunch of enemies that spawn. But if you just know where all that is, you can just kind of activate them one by one and then move past. Uh-oh, okay. Phew. It's kind of slow. Thank you. 
Oops. Wow, okay. I was hoping not to get hit. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was really close to dying there. Uh, it, it might not have looked like it, but um, if anything on you touches the bottom of the screen, you just get sucked down and you die. So, that was much closer than it looked. Alright, this is the final boss. Uh, he's slightly different from the others. It's still like a weird, wacky set of heads, but it's only one head now. Uh, and he shoots out multiple smaller heads. And I'm over here right now to draw him down. He like, uh, homes into you. Now he's at the bottom. Now I just ride him to the ceiling. And I need to do two sets of squishes. One here, but then I have to slightly move out. Perfect. Okay, I'll uh, get ready on time. He's gonna die in like five seconds. Okay, and time. I'm gonna say it's like a 33. I got 32, uh, 18. Okay, okay. All right. That could have been much worse for a rusty yeah, run. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Okay. Cool. Uh, awesome. I'm pretty happy with how that went for being so rusty. Um, before I go... Okay, so while I couldn't... While I couldn't get a, an amazing run... Uh, I do still want to contribute. Wait. Okay, okay. Um, so, I think this is a really cool cause, and... Uh, and I really want everyone out there to donate. Uh, so, I'm gonna try to lead by example. And... Send something out here. Okay, cool. Uh, I just donated, and I hope everyone else does the same, because this is a really cool cause, and uh, everyone everyone should do what they can to to help out this cause. Oh, it, it redirected me. I wanted to I wanted to brag. Anyways, I'll wait for it to be read out. I can read it right now if you want me to. Yeah. All right. Or do you want Do you want to do it now? All right. We we'll, we got one more donation first. We got two dollars from Taka with no message. Uh, but we've got our boy Peaches here with $200, and uh, he put it towards the Blast Core file name Needle, who is uh, a Japanese runner of the game. So thank you very much for donating. Thank you, Peaches. Yeah, thank you guys for letting me do this. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, it was last minute, but I'm always glad to do this. And uh, I hope that I can inspire other people to donate, because this is a really cool cause, and I want to see some some good runners at AGDQ. So uh, I'm gonna I'm going to head off. Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah, so thank much. you very much for running. Wow, that was a, a generous way to end his run. I appreciate that. Yeah, very much so. And with that, we are... Uh...